Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna showcase you guys the accessories we have on Korean server that we don't have on global. And also I use the ones that I have, for example this one I have, I will showcase and also I will show you guys when they come and how to get them. So that will be the focus of this video. So I make a kind of tire list but it's it's just to show, make it easier to understand. So this is the necklace available on Global. How this is 13 in total. The same with earrings. Everybody knows about this and rings also. So you guys can have an idea. And these ones, the ones that to be released. And we discuss each of them to discover. So basically we have a three. Uh, accessories for each field boss or world boss so for example these three is for one field boss another one field boss here this three here is from the Kalia Phantom field boss this is the blue goddess statue field boss this is the from the world boss Acteon and this one is the newest we just got now on on Korean server that is from Sisyphus world, uh, field boss so let's go each of them and explain what's their skills so this one is the Kalia necklace and it acts like a, any other necklace three stars the same applies for this one and the red one when I say this I just mean the attributes in the maximum awaken it's like 3% if I get another necklace three stars Also 3%. So what changes exactly is the first skill in everything. How of them is the same. So let's check this one. Kalia Necklace. Increase the attack power of Dark Attribute Familiar by 5%. And Awaken 10 is 10%. Nothing crazy, but still good. So the next one is the Shining Ghost. Shining Ghost they have a, a more particular effect. It decreases the critical chance by 2.5% on targets affected by corrupted effect. So like uh, Dinoceros, for example, Helix, our familiars, normally dark familiars do this effect. So the next one is quite peculiar. So the name is Darkness Phantom. And what it is it do? So when you taking a damage that exceeds 10% of max HP, increase the resistance of how crowd control effects by 15% for 5 seconds. And deals 50% of attack of dark damage to nearby enemies, cool down 15 seconds. So I think this one, uh, if you guys watch my PvP videos, you saw some, sometimes when I attack some players and they have some some balls around there, around them. So this is what's happening when they receive a very strong damage. They activate this effect. That's good, good necklace. And this, where we get this necklace is this field boss, Kalia Phantom. You can see here, is located on the Neo area at Asia Kingdom. It was launched in January, around the January, when they launched the new region. It's quite difficult actually. You should use a light attribute. So that's in here, you get it. I could say this one, the Darkness Phantom fits very well for PvP. And the other two, not sure if we can see many times people use it. Maybe more PvP, PvE. This one can be on PvE also, of course. So the next one is a series of earrings that drops from the Blue Goddess statue. That is this field boss here. This field boss is quite hard and they launched in the new region, Merudor Archives. And it was... They launched the region before, like January, but the field boss, they launched around May, around. It was during the... Searching for the fish, legendary fish uh, episode, around that time. And this is quite good, accessories. So we have three accessories in total. The Stony Earrings, Death Blue, and the 
Goddess Bless. And this one's quite peculiar because it brings a new effect. So let's talk about them. So the stone, this is the stone earrings. And increase the attack power of water attribute familiars by 5%. So you see, it's sometimes the, the first one, the three stars is always like this. So let's check the four stars. This one is the death blue. Increase critical chance by 2.5% on targets affected by frostbite effect. That's good, right? So let's check the next one. Goddess Bless. That's this one. I don't have it, unfortunately. And this is very peculiar because this gives you this new effect here. So let, let me explain. When attacking, there is 10% of chance of dealing water property damage equal to 28% of attack power per hit. So when attacking, there is a chance to deal a little more damage, 28% of attack as an extra damage. But against players, here players, after three hits, three hits you give to him in normal attack, it deals this damage here. So it's not, it's like a, if you do three hits and this don't happen in 10%, it will do a damage. So that's good. Because if you think like logically, you have to do 10 hits, right? So for PvP, it's not, you, uh, you almost don't have a chance to hit someone 10 times. Maximum is 3 or 4, maximum. Sometimes even, sometimes even less. So that's good. And these very peculiar effects, it grants uh, protection against... They call Pohyon in Korean, but it's like transiency effect. I, I don't know how they translate it. For 3 seconds. And this effect here, Pohyon, so this is the effect, Pohyon, uh, like irresistive effect. So it's kind of this boss, uh, this field boss, do this a lot of bubbles. So if the bubble catch you, you, you cannot do any movement, you cannot do anything. So it grants uh, defense against it. And for now, only this field boss do this effect. But we never know in the future. If it will be a familiar that, that do, do this skill, or even we have new skills that can do that. So just to keep in mind, this can be very useful in the future even more. So in your earrings, I think this one is good for PvP and also PvE because you can have protection against that boss. Also this other two is good for PvE. Maybe this one's even useful for PvP, but I think there is other better options, to be sincere. So the next one are rings that drops from Acteon World Boss. It's the new World Boss we got in the game. Is this World Boss here? I, I made a video about it, Acteon. And I was lucky enough to get uh, the ring. That's very nice. The skill books is the same as the Ardus. So the most important is the ring. So what does this ring do? We are lucky because we have a copy so we can test and we can show his effect. So the first one, the green one, they call Acteon Ring and increase the attack power of familiar with Earth attribute by 5%. You see everything like increase the familiar attack. So the second one, this, I'm not sure if the translation is okay. But they call warm madness. Maybe it's once and I don't know warm. I searched, I couldn't translate, but I just make warm madness. So reduce the skill cooldown of familiars of earth attribute. That's peculiar. They reduce the skill cooldown of familiars, not yours. And this one is quite peculiar and Quite good to be sincere. Uh, they call Ascended Chain. So what it is, it does do. It decrease the basic attack of how familiar's basic attack damage by 0.5% for 7 seconds. Stacks up to 30 times. So it can increase a lot of familiar. 
at the maximum stacks consumes all this energy to create an earthquake effect on the enemy with 67% of damage and inflicts knockdown on the enemy for 1.5% so it's quite good I have this one so I showcase for you guys now so let's test in very high level monsters because actually takes some time to, to block to start the damage so let's test in these monsters here because they are quite high level so they will not die very fast so that we can check the effect see it's not activate here so let's test in these guys so i mean earth earth damn or earth deck so you guys can see it's not activate yet oh the ring you activate so little by little is increasing for seven seconds three two so until 30 and when they get 30 it will give earthquake damage you guys will see 24 Oh, here. Here, the effect. So, as you guys can see, it takes some time to activate. But this effect, this is very good for PV, for sure. And increasing the familiar. If you, if you don't attack, the time will be gone. But if you continuously attack someone with a familiar, so in, PV, in PvP, I think Lava Valley is quite hard to be continuously and get to the 30. But having this possibility to increase your familiar attack is very good. So you see, that's how it works. So that's the demonstration of how it works this ring. So we have to always point out that this is the uh, no awaken. So if you're very lucky awaken them is one percent of more damage for your familiar and he also the earthquake effects more stronger it's just so you guys have an idea so let's see what which position you guys think would be interesting for this ring in my opinion i think this ring in pvp is kind of hard to maybe like in in PvE for sure, for sure it helps if you are grinding, for sure. So reducing the cooldown of Earth type also is very good for PvE, this one. And then active ring and increase the attack power familiar is the little ring, where is it? This one. For PvE, uh, maybe, but uh, you see this order is much more interesting, but uh, if you just have it and you want to make it stronger, your familiars can be a good option. But this one, I'm not very sure if it's good for PvP. Because to activate the earthquake damage takes a long time. Only if it's like a, a fight for the throne, that so many players together. In this kind of situation, Helic Wars, but I think in general for PvE for sure it's very good. So now the last of the new series of the accessories you get is this is from the Sisypus uh, field boss. Is the new field boss? I made a video uh, like two weeks ago about it. We just got uh, on Korean server. So is there where you get these rings? So this Sisypus field boss. So just to remember, guys, Kalia Phantom is here. Merodora Kai is the blue goddess statue and scissor plus is here this here you can see him 175 so here we get, can get the ring i don't have it yet unfortunately if you want to see how he looks like you can watch my video or you can check here this one the newest so hard in this server it's impossible for us to do it and the 
in my other stuff I play, it takes so long time. It's like it, who, doing all this, all the field boss takes around one hour. And this one takes such a long time. So let's see what his rings do. So the first is a small one. The, the name is just Sisypus ring. And increase the defense of earth attribute familiar. So you see the others increase attack and this one earth. And it's defense. So I think there will be a new row of field bosses that just increase defense. So the others attack. This defense. So if it, this one increases your defense, we can imagine that there will be four more that increase uh, defense, like uh, fire familiars, water, dark, light, for example. So there's a lot of room for new accessories in the future. So the next one, uh, I translate a chain beat. It's like literal translation and increase critical chance by 2.5% on targets affected by poison effect. So if your enemy is in poison, you increase your critical chance. Just as a reference, it's 2.5%, it's 5% maximum. Not bad, since critical chance is very good status. So this is the red one. This is quite peculiar, kind of supports ring. So they call Criminal Break the name. And the, when attacking, there is a 10% of the chance to increase the attack and death of part members within the activation range by 2%. The attack and then 5% defense. So this 10% to increase your attack by 2 and defense by five of me and the part members, not the only part members. And uh, this is awakening zero, right? And then 20% chance in 7%. This is very good, actually. PvP, PvE will fit very well. For support hero, even better. So, Sisypus ring, I think uh, increased defense. Maybe we have some familiar that focus more on defense, it can help, but for now PvE, 5%, chain beat, increase 2.5% poisons, it's quite hard because you have to use a poison in the enemy, like a familiar, for example, or a skill, and then you start to attack, this in the PvP situation takes a long time. But I think this one, the new ring, for sure fits PvE and PvP also. Helic Wars, I think even when you have a big party, can be very effective. Unfortunately, I don't have the others to do a test, like I did with this one. But you guys can have an idea of the accessories that's planned to be released. The Sisyphus was launched uh, just some weeks ago, so it might take some time on Global, but we never know. i will not be surprised next week we have this uh, Kalia Phantom or Red, we never know. So I think that's it. I hope this video was very useful. Actually, it took me some time to translate everything and make it very clear for you guys. So I'm planning to do a video because we just got a balance and they change a little bit the skills of Gatling Gun, Engineer and the other heroes also. So on the next days you'll be videos about it. And also we got a new skill. So it'll be very interesting to show you guys. So I think that's it. If you guys have some questions, anything, just ask me, send, uh, write a message in the video. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you on the next video.